It's starting to feel like Christmas over here at Digital Shark. Give me the Hollywood Reporter is reporting that DCU, the new DCU, has a Deathstroke and Bane team up movie coming at you. Hey, well, this is Digital Shark. Please hit the like button if you're new here. Click subscribe and ding that bell to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. We're going to get right to the title with the Hollywood Reporter and this wicked report that's coming out. That a Bane Deathstroke tag team max team up is coming to us in the DC with James Gunn and Peter Safran's DCU. How did this lead into Batman? Why would this lead into Batman? Damien Wayne, the potential of all of this. This has huge, huge implications for the DCU. No casting involved. We do know. We'll pull it up right here for a little bit. We'll put it up right here that. Look at these. Uh, I can't wait to the Steelers to be dubbed. Last time we did see Bane, it wasn't Dark Knight Rises. Of course, nothing compared to Batman and Robin's Bane. Nothing at all. Uh, we got a script coming to us from Matthew Orton, who wrote Captain America Brave New World, the new Captain America movie that's coming out next year. I went through a lot of these shits. Don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Kendall Feige seems to be very excited about this movie. Back on board. MCU back on track. Possibly this is the first case of that. It went through the reshoots, like I said, but Matthew Orton's name is still on it. Presumably wrote all of those uh, reshoot, reshot scenes as well. James Gunn. Saffron, they would have known him quite well, even better, working with him over at, at Marvel. So they have a really good understanding of him. But they're working on this strict script. If it's a finished script or not, we don't know. But let's dive right into what the implications of this team up could be. The possibilities for this could lead to a numerous amount of pathways that we could be getting to with Bane and Deathstroke. Teaming up, we don't know what the goal is for their team up. Ultimately, we could speculate that there's a common employer or contract involved that both Bane and Deathstroke have been mercenaries and various storylines working for higher powers when it serves their goals. Someone like Lex Luthor, Ra's al Ghul, or Amanda Waller. Amanda Waller could hire them or manipulate them into working together. For example, a villain like Ra's al Ghul could recruit them to take down Batman and Damien knowing that Bruce Wayne and his son are a threat to his plans. Alternatively, a high-paying contract from a global syndicate or even a personal vendetta could see both villains agree to work together temporarily. Neither Bane nor Deathstroke would necessarily trust each other completely, but the promise of power or wealth could force them to set aside differences for a common goal. A Bane and Deathstroke team up because they both benefit from it? For example, Bane could use Deathstroke's intelligence network connections and tactical precision to further his plans of domination or revenge. Deathstroke could benefit from Bane's brute strength and influence over Gotham's criminal underworld, giving him greater access to resources or territory. Both Bane and Deathstroke have, at various points, wanted control over Gotham City. Bane sees Gotham as a symbol of his triumph over Batman and seeks to rule it. Deathstroke, as a master tactician and mercenary, could be looking to seize control of the city's resources, political power, or criminal empire. Together, they could plan to overthrow the existing order in Gotham, including Batman and his allies, and establish their dominance over the city. This would give the two villains more motivation to work together, knowing that taking down Gotham's protector is a necessary step toward control. One of them could be manipulating the other using the alliance as a temporary measure. Bane or Deathstroke might not be fully aligned with the other's goals, but is using the partnership for personal gain. For instance, Bane could be stringing Deathstroke along for his tactical expertise, planning to betray him later. Or Deathstroke might be hired to work with Bane, but has a hidden agenda that Bane doesn't know about. There's also the possibility that one of them is co being coerced or blackmailed or forced into a partnership through an external force, creating tension and distress between them as the alliance plays out. Bane and Deathstroke, despite their differences, both believe in the pursuit of strength, power, and dominance. Bane is driven by the desire to prove himself as the ultimate warrior, while Deathstroke operates under a code of efficiency and superiority in battle. This shared philosophy could drive them to team up and both seeking to eliminate Batman or other heroes who represent a moral code they view as weak or misguided. Their team up could be rooted in the idea that they are superior to Batman and other vigilantes and they must join forces to enforce a new order. 
And how exactly is this going to affect Damian Wayne? Damian Wayne's connection to the League of Assassins as Ra's al Ghul's grandson creates an interesting link to Deathstroke. In the comics, Deathstroke has worked with and against the League of Assassins, often having an intense rivalry with Batman. A team-up, Bane and Deathstroke could see the two leveraging Damian's past with the League, potentially tempting him to question his loyalty to Bruce. How about Nightfall? The iconic Nightfall comic storyline, Bane famously breaks Batman's back, a traumatic event that forced Bruce Wayne to reevaluate his methods and eventually led his discovery and evolution as a hero. A Bane and Deathstroke team-up could revisit this theme, possibly introducing a scenario where Batman is once again physically or psychologically weakened by Bane, forcing Damien to step up in a way he never has before. The pressure on Damien would be immense. How about Deathstroke just mentoring Damien? Deathstroke and Damien share a deep connection in various comic storylines. In some interpretations, Deathstroke even sees Damien as a protege, someone who could be molded into a deadly weapon, much like how he views his own son, Jericho. If this team-up involves Deathstroke trying to recruit Damien or pull him away from Bruce's influence, it would add significant emotional stakes to the film. Bruce would not only have to battle Bane and Deathstroke physically, but would also have to fight for Damien's soul, ensuring that his son doesn't fall into the same cycle of violence and revenge that defines Deathstroke's life. A Bane and Deathstroke team-up could also serve as the foundation for expanding the Batman family in the DCU. If Bruce and Damien struggle against these two villains or are, aren't even involved, it might pave the way for the introduction of other allies like Dick Grayson as Nightwing, Jason Todd as Red Hood, Tim Drake as Red Robin, and Barbara Gordon Batgirl, Stephanie Brown Batgirl, any Batgirl! This team-up could push the DCU Batman universe towards larger ensemble narratives where Batman's legacy as a father, mentor, and hero is explored through his relationship with both Damien and the wider Batman family. The emotional core would remain bond between Bruce and Damien, but adding Bane and Destro could heighten the stakes, forcing Bruce to evolve into the protector of Gotham and his family. All right, everybody, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I want to hear it. Do you like this? Do you hate this? Are you indifferent to it? Or do you not trust a thing in the DCU until it happens? Thanks, everybody, for watching. Give us a like and a subscribe. Until next time, may be the master of your own universe.